New here at three, there are close to 100 tropical fish farms throughout the state of Florida, and half of them are right here in Hillsborough and Polk counties. But raising tropical fish requires a lot more than just a tank full of water. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us a lab in Ruskin that's helping farmers keep this industry swimming along. Here at the University of Florida's Tropical Aquaculture Laboratory, they are researching more than 50 different species of fish, and they're going to pass on that knowledge to the local Florida farmer. It's lunchtime at the Tropical Aquaculture Laboratory. Director Craig Watson has a responsibility for each and every one of these fish. It's a number of species and varieties of fish that keeps it exciting because every day it's going to be something new. The research that comes out of this campus can be the difference in millions of dollars of revenue for tropical fish farmers across the state. The production that we're seeing on a per farm basis is getting higher and higher. The lab's first priority is teaching farmers how to keep their fish alive and thriving. We can take that one sick fish, tell them what's the matter with it, tell them how to fix it, and usually, even better, tell them how to prevent it from happening again. Their other main goal is to create something new. Anytime Florida can add another species or another variety of fish to the menu of fish available from Florida, it puts them in a better position to compete with our foreign competitors. But Watson says the lab's impact goes beyond the farmers. They've had students continue on to work at zoos and aquariums across the country. Probably trained well over 100 veterinarians in the 25 years that we've been here. Watson was even honored earlier this year by the National Aquaculture Association for outstanding contributions to the industry. It's not the fish that get me up in the morning, it's the farmers that we're working with. And that award was from a farmers association. In Ruskin, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.